Hello, my name is Magnar Nordahl. I'm a an captain and instructor on ATR aircraft. A week ago, I published a video about the preliminary report for the accident with ET Airlines Flight uh, 691 in Nepal. And this video got a lot of attention and a lot of comments, which I appreciate a lot. For the moment, there are more than 600 comments to the video. But sadly, two of those comments were harassment of other individuals. And this is not in accordance with uh, YouTube's guidelines for commenting. Therefore, I removed those two comments too. And harassment is, I will use the definition from the US Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Harassment is an unwelcome conduct that is based on race, color, religion, sex, national origin, old age, disability or genetic information. When a comment is an attack on a person, harassment, hate, whatever you call it, it's not acceptable. Yes, we have freedom of speech, but with freedom comes responsibility. And Hate messages to other people are not welcome. Some people send hate message to me, I don't care. I don't delete them. But hate messages against other people are not welcome and I delete them. After all, it's my channel, isn't it? But I'm very careful with what I delete. I had this channel now for two years, nine months. And in all, I have deleted five messages, plus some spam. And all of those five were way off what is acceptable in this community. Okay, so I wrote on the top of the comment section, please show respect to others. Sadly, I have been forced to delete some comments because of harassment. And one commenter, his name is Mike48084, replied, You should not censor people's opinions. The point of accident investigations is to prevent future occurrences. I don't know how you expect to do this when you are spoon-feeding your own personal narrative. So I replied, I have deleted libelous comments targeting individuals. There is a clear line between discussing what has happened and harassing people. And Mike replied, keep in mind that not all disputes are destructive. Malicious compliance is an actual thing. 90% of accidents could have been prevented by someone just speaking up. And your censorship does not help this at all. I replied, let me make this clear. I do not censor opinions. I remove comments that are attacking individuals as persons. This includes racism and hate messages. Mike replied, but why is it up to you to decide what is hateful and racist? Some comments that come off as hateful are actually constructive if viewed with the right lens. Only those who lack emotional intelligence are the ones who find those comments hateful. And that then follows two comments supporting Mike. And then Mike wrote to me, basically what he means by removing racist comments is removing any comments suggesting that Nepalese airlines have a problem with safety since they are a third world country. I have not removed any comments about the Nepalese aviation, not a single one. I removed racist, hateful messages. And Mike also writes, instead he's pushing his own personal opinion that the ATR's flight deck design is the root cause. Mike, I have flown this aircraft for 23 years. If I found out that this aircraft is not safe, I will not be flying this. Okay. And finally, Mike writes, this man is a true detriment to worldwide aviation safety. And Mike, 
I think there is a misunderstanding between us how we define harassment. I share many of your opinions. For example, when you say 90% of accident could have been prevented by someone just speaking up. Yes, I totally agree. That is a fact. But hateful messages don't contribute to aviation safety. If you put a person with that attitude, with a hate attitude against others into a cockpit, the opposite happens. The flight safety is decreased. I hope you agree with me on that. Okay, I hope this clear everything up and uh, to all of you. Do you think I should uh, continue to delete hate messages or should I leave them as they are? I would love to read your comments and I promise I will not delete any of them. And just remember, with freedom comes responsibility. So thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and happy learning.